and uh, welcome to another video from uh, Rail150. What I've got here is um, some uh, wheels which have been ordered from Amazon in England. Just arrived today and uh, these are going to be fitted to the troublesome Pullman coaches from Hornby Triang, the 1977 uh, coaches, which were jumping over these points. These are Pico Electro Frog points. Um, and the original wheels which were fitted as bogies, like these ones here. These have no end of problems trying to negotiate these points. They jump off, they derail the coaches, um, and obviously they just mean that it makes running anything on here a bit of a pain. Especially when my little son wants to, he's really into the Pullman coaches and he, tries, he keeps asking to run them around the track and they're always derailing, so these are getting changed. These are the, the wheels, they're R8096, and um, I ordered them on Amazon from England, and they cost around about, I think they were £6.90, which is a uh, good value for 10. They're the 126 millimeter diameter wheels. Now, uh, they're solid, metal wheel, uh, some of them have holes in, there's various different ones you can buy. In hindsight I may have got the ones with holes in because the later Pullmans which, I've, uh, which I showed the other day have holes in their wheels. Um, but the, the original ones which came with the, the Triang are solid. Uh, so I just, I just immediately ordered the solid ones. So what I'm going to do on this video, I'm going to just show you how to change these over. Many of you probably know how to do this, it's not a particularly complicated job. Uh, but the interesting thing will be to see the difference it makes on going over the points. All right, so um, what I'm going to do is just to... I've taken the bottom of the carriage off because I've done some work on the carriage. And these are the wheels I'm going to take out. These are the old ones. Now, hopefully you can see this. They're very simple to take out. Uh, you just need to prise a little bit apart there. Turn it around, and it's easier if you take it from the center rather than trying to prise it from the outside. There's more, it's more forgiving if you take it from the center. So again, just push down and flip it out. So the same with this one. So again, try to stretch it in the middle, and then there it comes rather than the outside. This one now is going to be replaced. It's, well, let me just show you how it looks anyway. Now it's out. Don't see if it's stuck. Yeah. Okay, so it looks, as you can see that it's a bit dark actually, but it's got a point, like a needle. And that just is where it runs. Some of the other trying ones are a little bit more complex. They have internal bearings, like a copper bearing or a brass brush. Uh, these ones don't have that. And as I say, this just makes transferring them over. That's it, it's done. So what I'll do is I'll do all of them and then we'll have a quick comparison between how, how they run. Alright, so the bogies have been transferred over now um, and it's now on the track. These are backman points, these don't really cause as much problem. But over there in front of the window are some points that do. So what we're going to do, I'm, I'm just going to change the points to send it on the inner track there. Now these need certainly need gluing down, fixing down better because they move, so uh, we're just going to push it over those points and we'll come make a comparison. It's straight over. And now we'll do it with the one which hasn't been converted and you'll see the difference. Okay, so this is the one which hasn't been converted. And if you all that, it makes no, it'll look like it makes no odds at all, but it's been, they've been derailing a lot on there. Okay, let's, let's see how it is. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> That's my daughter who's pushed that a little bit enthusiastically. Okay, I'll just pause this for a second. Okay, my official coach pusher has been sacked for the moment, so we will just push it and see what happens. Yeah, so it didn't even actually make the point. And you can see when it goes over, it jumps and makes a, a real racket. So, yeah, big difference. We'll put the other one on again and make another comparison. I'm sorry it's dark here. It uh, keeps adjusting the, the light. 
So this is the one with the original. And if you can see there, I'm just pushing it ever so slightly. You can see the body tilts. I'm actually tilting that. It does has a tendency to do that and jumps. So if you're towing, pulling this around and it's in a rake of coaches, it just jumps off the track many times. Okay, send the other one there. And we're here um, with a carriage that hasn't been converted and I'm just gonna send it over some points. And you can see it's and here that it's jumping around. And let's just send it back over. Really rocking about on going over those electro and insult frog crossings and points. And finally, with the converted carriage. And back again. A huge difference. Oops. The only thing now to work on is the perhaps the couplings which don't seem to want to meet up because they're uh, the very, very narrow couplings on this particular loco. Let me just take this off and I'll just push it around. Very smooth. So there you are. A job well done. So yeah, I'm happy with those purchases. It's a very cheap, simple way of getting old rolling stock to run reliably over, over new points. All right, well, thanks for watching. And there'll be more videos soon when I put the lights in these old Pullman coaches. Okay, bye-bye for now.